What's up everyone, it's Trey Thousand GT with another quick video for the 2006 Retro of the Nike Air Jordan 4 Fire Red um, Mars Blackman Edition. I'm going to go just basically do uh, a quick run through on uh, quality, sizing and all that. Then at the end of the video you'll see a uh, kind of like a back to back of the original Jordan 4 and the Retro Jordan 4 Fire Red kind of give you you know, to show you, you know, what the differences were. Um, so, 2006, when we saw these pictures leaked, everyone was ecstatic to see them come back. Um, the year or two before, uh, we had the Laser Fours, which crashed the Jordan brand website. And uh, I think, in my opinion, I think they were nicer than the, uh, than the, to uh the Mars Blackman retros. Uh the shape was better, the comfort was better. The only thing I didn't like was that they used those uh leather straps and that, that cheesy plastic. Uh had they not done that and had they stuck with like plastic straps, I would have kept those and not even thought twice about the Mars Blackman edition. But they didn't, so it was on to the next one with these. So when I got them, uh, the leather immediately it it, it caught me a, as like very cheap. Um, they weren't comfortable. Uh, the comfort wasn't horrendous. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't horrendous, but it wasn't really that comfortable. Uh, the the straps and the the heel tab is like it's not plastic; it's more like a rubber. But I don't find that to be really a problem. You know, uh, the color, it seems more like a burgundy to me than a, a fire red. And, uh, of course, it's missing the uh, Nike Air on the back, which, you know, in my opinion, I hate the fact that they do that, but whatever. Uh, the next thing, you know, it has a little Mars Black missing on the side. That doesn't even bother me. Uh, <clears throat> if you look towards, at the end of the video, if you look towards the uh, the side of the shoe... You'll see that there's a, a a piece of a second layer of leather that's very uh very thin. I don't even know how to explain it. It's near like the toe area, and it's near that little black piece over the red. It's much thinner than on the uh, original, and the whole cut of the shoe is just different. You know, like it it looks proportional on the original. The the original just looks like it's supposed to, just good. On the retro, it looks like they didn't know what they were doing, you know. Like, like they had never uh, done sizing on a on a shoe before, and it it had that banana feel. Cause I remember the eleven that I had picked up was too slightly too snug, but the eleven and a half that I picked up was kind of too big. So, so then what? <laughs> you know, I they don't make eleven and three quarters or whatnot. So, uh, you know, I just had to deal with the eleven and a half. And uh I'm trying to think, uh well, you know, that's the sizing is funny, but uh you know some of you this is like a tricky one. I say some of you may like the uh the the really snug feel, so you may want to go a half size down from a typical Jordan that you wear. And for those of you that, that want a little bit more room, you may want to stick with your true size. So that's that. And uh the uh, oh the the major problem with this shoe for me, aside from everything, aside from the cut, the the missing of the Nike Air, you know the the changes on the uh, the leather of the shoe, the shape, it was the heel tab, and I'm not sure if you can make out from the picture, the last picture, but the heel tab is just slightly too big, and it's prone to just digging in your ankle, and that. That's a problem. I mean, nobody wants to be walking around, you know, maybe walking around a city or a school or a work or whatnot and having this thing dig in your, in your ankle. And uh, that was an issue. You know, if you were trying to wear shorts, it, it could be a problem. Uh, maybe not all pairs were like that, but I know I owned a couple of these and I had all of them had the same problem. So... That was that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any questions, concerns, comments, 
you know, drop me a line and uh, stay tuned for more.